Okay, uh, so now let's look at your basic fundamentals of your Python language. So this section will uh, tell about uh, tell us about like what are the fundamentals of Python. So fundamentals of Python can be referred as uh, tokens and their different types and they can also be a uh, comments. Now coming back to your comments, so what exactly is a com uh, token? Token can be defined, it can be a punctuation mark or a, that is a punctuator mark or it can be a reserve words or each word in a statement or in a program of your python language can be referred as a token now uh, we all know that token can be uh, called as the smallest unit of a program okay we have learned this from uh, like in many of the uh, other programming language right so token is nothing but a smallest unit of a program we refer it as a uh, token so uh, there are different uh, types of tokens or that is your keywords, identifiers, and literals, and operators. Now coming back to your data types. So what do I mean by a data type? Data type is nothing but a something wherein uh, if at all we have already know like what is a variable, right? Variable is something which holds up a value, okay? That value can be of a different type, right? It can be an integer type or a string type or a long, any kind of a data type, okay? Data type is something which will tell us about what kind of its, what is like its value, okay. So uh, variants, uh, variables can hold values and every value has a data type as we all know that. So Python in a, is a dynamically typed language, okay. And hence we do not need to define the type of a variable while we are declaring it. So we have already discussed this in our earlier slides. Python enables us to check the type of variable used in the program and Python provides us the type function which returns the type of the variable passed. Now for example, I am uh, just assign, taking up a variable called as h and is equals to 23. Okay. Now we all know that it is a, of a kind integer, right? If I pass up a function that print function and I want to print like uh, know that what kind of a data type like data it is holding so if with the help of your type function it is easy for me to find the data i mean data type of that particular variable that is what they are trying to tell us and to tell a few more points about your data types the variable uh, we all know that uh, a variable holds an integer right so python interpreter what it does it will automatically interpret the va uh, variable as an integer type okay or it can be a string type and then um, python enables us to check the type of a variable used in the program and uh, as discussed we have many such functions which will tell us about the value being assigned to a variable now let us see an example for the type function okay now look at this example we have a variable called as a which is being assigned with the value of 10 which is nothing but an integer, right? And B, which is holding a string variable that is high Python, and C is holding a 10.5 that is nothing but your float value, right? So in, in here you can see, just check here. Print is your print is a function which we use to print up the uh, value, and then we have used a type function as we have already discussed here, right? Python provides us the type function which returns the type of the variable passed. So with the help of this particular type functions, what we are trying to do, we are trying to print the what type of data type it is. So you can check out the output here, that is, you are able to see the first variable that is A is nothing but an integer and B is a string variable and C is a float. Now coming back to your standard data type, we all know that uh, a variable can hold different types of values, for example, a person's name must be stored as a string whereas its id must be stored as an integer. For example, to give a normal example for you all, your name is nothing but a string, right? Your roll number is a id, right? Which is nothing but an integer. So your id must always uh, be stored as an integer and your name must always be stored as in a string format. So Python provides various standard data types that define the storage method on each of them. The data types defined in Python are given below. So we have basically uh, five different types of data types in your Python language. That is, first one is numbers, and then second is sequence type, third one is boolean, 
and the fourth one is set and the last one is your dictionary. They are further uh, divided uh, into, the numeric is divided into integer, complex and then <coughs> float. And the sequence type is being divided into string, list and double. Moving on to numbers. So, what are numbers? Numbers, Python supports three types of numeric data. And uh, basically there are three types that is integer, float and complex. So, integer value can be of any length such as integers that is 10, 2, 29, minus 20, minus 150 etc. They can hold any sort of value. But Python has no restrictions on the length of the integer. Okay. So, it value, its value belongs to int. Now, um, to tell more about uh, this thing, I'll just give you an example for it. We shall see the examples in the next slide. Coming back to your float, float is used for storing the floating point numbers. That is nothing but a number with the decimal points, right? So, 1.9, 9.90, these are not, these are, uh, are the example for your uh, floating point numbers. Coming back to your complex, a complex number contains an ordered pair that is x plus i y format. The number will be in this particular format where x and y denote the real and imaginary parts. So, complex numbers are the numbers which will be having a imaginary part to in it. Now, moving on to the numbers. Just look at the slide there. Number stores numeric values as discussed earlier, the integer, the float and the complex values belong to the Python numer uh, numbers data type and uh, we all know that we use a type function to know the data type of a variable. So, they say that is instance function is also used to check an object belongs to which particular class. If we want to check that uh, this particular class belongs to which type of instance uh, class we need to uh, check with is instance okay yeah okay you can check out the uh, the output what we have got for uh, just check out with the program first and then we'll uh, just talk about it okay now look at the program we have uh, a assigned as 5 and we are trying to print the value of it so the print statement you will be you are taking it as the type of a and with the help of your type function and type function in the bracket you are going to pass the variable name whose uh, type you want okay so b is assigned with a floating number and c is assigned with a complex in the output you can check here you have got it as class and in the type of b as float and the type of c as complex so this is how you retrieve the uh, type of a variable using uh, with the help of your type function okay now moving on to your sequence type so what is your sequence type so we shall check what is the sequence type and what are, what are the different types of sequence types in the further videos